players uh, and for myself, I really am interested in creating abundance. Need is a scarcity word. We need a better power play creates more of the need for a better power play. It is it is a dangerous word. So I've replaced need with right at the bottom is that we have a better power play. We can have a better power play. We will have a better power play. By the way, can denotes capability, will denotes commitment. So hey, we can have a better power play. We will have a better power play. We'll have a better power play. That is just so much more powerful. I just listen to society need, need, need. And it's incredible. It just need people who are in need are people who have bought into a scarcity mindset and it just creates more of the need. Uh, the universe is always listening. So it's very, very important for us to be careful of what we actually put into the universe because it's going to have to come back to us. And, um, so uh, it's just the way it, it's just really the way the universe works uh, owning ownership is so important and i love this uh, this was something that wally or uh or ryan hilderman came up or uh, perhaps Tim Bothwell is transmit belief. So constantly, it's our responsibility to help as as an alpha leader coach is to build confidence. It's interesting. Uh, the alpha male is feels his responsibility is to constantly challenge and put down the player. Uh, I would I I would much rather build up the player and help him learn how to get through whatever obst whatever obstacles are in the player's way. Um, So the player, it's interesting, the players quite often will actually talk from a third person. And I'm convinced that speaking from, so when you get an opportunity to get into the play and you get this puck right in front of the net and then you decide to shoot high, uh, I feel the player is actually talking from a, the third entity, which I believe is the ego. And the player does that in order to protect himself because if it doesn't work out, then instead of him being at fault, he can actually blame the third party or the third party can be blamed. So it's a very, very deep thing. So I encourage players and actually Tony Robbins um, reinforces this in his talks is to come from the eye. So instead of instead of saying, so when you get the puck in front of the net and the player's actually talking about himself here is when you get the puck and when you do this and when you do that, and instead of, it's, hey, when I get the puck in front of the net, when I'm figuring out the goal and when I'm shooting the puck high, so what happens, the I or the I am increases ownership. Uh, together, I have done my best to eliminate uh, you languaging. you cause this separation between the coach and the player as often as possible i come back to we us our if i actually like i it's interesting i listen to coaches give their pep talk before a game in the dressing room and uh they'll go hey we're this is our plan this is what we're doing the, uh, we're gonna we we'll, we'll get him tonight and then at the end he says okay you guys you're ready and so right at the last moment right before the players go on the ice he has now separated himself and actually has communicated he has really doesn't believe in his own plan you guys is dangerous you, uh, actually got uh got non cherry fired from uh, tv um so that's how dangerous it is so if when it, Sometimes when I'm talking to the player, if I'm addressing that player and where I, the word you is required, I will actually say, um, what did you, Sam?
what did you, Matt, what did you, uh, Rebecca, what did you, uh, Sandy, see on that play? Because I want to, I'm interested in increasing uh, uh, togetherness and inclusiveness. You destroys that. Uh, shaming and blaming. <sighs> You should have. Oh my gosh, how dangerous. A beautiful book to read, Power Versus Force by David Hawkins. Uh, just a really good book to read. In the back of the book, it actually has a, a scale that goes from zero to a thousand about the frequency of words. <laughs> it's interesting. The words that will inflict guilt and shame, doubt and blame. And those are the killers of the, of the warrior. There's a saying, what kills the warrior? And the answer is doubt. On the field of play, the warrior has, it's important for the warrior to be 100% certain. As soon as doubt or possibly guilt or shame come in, the, the warrior gets killed. So, Uh, you should have. I can remember this as a child. I put my hand on the hot stove and my mom looked at me and said, you should have known better. Well, how was I supposed to know? But I remember in that moment, I basically took on a belief system that I was, I was shamed in that situation. I felt blamed. Uh, and uh, I ended up spending a lot of years <clears throat> working through and getting rid of that guilt and shame. So instead use we can, we will do this.